Hey guys, Rob. Rob? Rob? Not down there. Guess I'm doing it myself. Hey guys, welcome to the Tool Lab division of Concord Carpenter, where we provide in-depth tool reviews and our legendary head-to-head -head tool comparisons. Today's tool is a little bit different than the power tools we typically get on our hands, but no less awesome. This is the Thermal Master Thor 001 handheld thermal camera. This is a device that brings professional grade thermal imaging features, features that once cost thousands of dollars, down to a price point accessible to everyday professionals, hobbyists, and technicians. The Thor is available between $299 and $599 US dollars, depending on the version you choose. I have the Thor 001 version here, but it's nearly identical to the Thor 002. And I know I'm sounding like a James Bond aficionado, but I swear that's what the models are called. <laughs> so we're gonna keep it going. Let's start with the box slash case and what's included. The Thor arrives in a rugged hard shell protective case that is meant to protect the tool throughout its life. Inside the case, you'll find the Thor thermal camera itself, an instruction manual, warranty card, calibration certificate, a standard USB cable for charging, one that I've already pilfered for something else, I am sure, and, but that cable is also more importantly used for PC connectivity. And depending on the version, a clip on macro lens. This macro lens is one of the items that sets the more expensive 001 version apart from the 002. The case is foam lined with custom cutouts, ensuring each component is well protected. The Thor model 001, which is the 599 more expensive version I have here, and I already mentioned includes that detachable macro lens. It also includes some slightly higher accuracy and sensitivity specs and a few color palette options in the software. Model 002 is the standard $299 version without the macro lens. It's aimed at more general inspection tasks where close focusing isn't as critical. Physically, both versions share the same housing and design. On the back, you'll find a large 3.5 inch display. Controls are positioned below the screen, making one-handed operation straightforward. Buttons are large enough that a pair of light safety or mechanics gloves can be worn. I doubt a thick set of winter gloves would do great, and they're definitely not intended for our fighter fighters and rescue workers. Those handheld thermal cameras may have similar specs, but are designed specifically for those environments. So please don't try and pull double duty with one of these. The handle feels sturdy, and there's a trigger button that can be used for capturing images or recording video. The bottom of the unit features an aluminum plate with a tripod mount, and a hard point for adding a strap. At the top, there's a USB-C port for charging that PC connection I mentioned, and a micro SD card slot for storage. The camera can record images and video directly or stream them over USB to your PC. Unfortunately, not a Mac. There is also a built-in Wi-Fi capability, which allows you to pair it to your phone and the Thermal Master mobile app that is available on iOS and Android. Now let's take a look at some of the uh, tech specs. So the Thor uses a thermal sensor with a native resolution of 256 by 192 pixels. The refresh rate is 25 Hertz, providing smooth motion for thermal video recording. That resolution may seem tiny for all of us used to modern cell phone cameras with megapixel upon megapixel, but in the thermal sensor world, it's a really respectable size, especially on a handheld unit. Its field of view is a 40 degree by 30 degree which is a, actually a very nice sweet spot for inspection work. The thermal sensor has a published accuracy of plus or minus 1.5 C for the 001 and plus or minus 2.0 C for the Thor 002. In thermal cameras, there's also a thermal sensitivity value called noise equivalent temperature difference or NETD. NETD can be influenced by the field of view and the lens and other optics. The 001 has an NETD of less than 35 millikelvin, which is a great value for a handheld camera. The thermal range is from negative four all the way up to 1,022 degrees Fahrenheit. As for the accuracy and sensitivity and range, these are all published values and we don't have the ability here to really accurately test these metrics. The focal range. The 002 and the 001 both share a minimal focal distance of 30 centimeters or 12 inches. The 001 has that additional snap-on macro lens that I mentioned. That brings the distance down to eight centimeters or three inches. It's a great additional tool for close drop inspections of smaller items like circuit boards. On top of that, Thermal Master includes what they call Super IR Resolution, which enhances and upscales the image to an effective resolution of 512 by 382, so times two. While this is not the same as the native high resolution, higher resolution sensor, it does improve clarity, sharpness, and usability. Alongside the thermal sensor, the Thor includes a quick safety shutter to protect the thermal lens, 
a two megapixel visible light camera used for its hybrid fusion mode, more on that later, a built-in LED light, and a class two red laser pointer for marking targets while you're inspecting. The rear IPS display is mentioned 3.5 inches across with a resolution of 640 by 480 and a 60 hertz refresh rate. This makes it crisp and responsive, something that's pretty lacking on some budget thermal cameras. I've played around with a couple other handhelds and they're, they're slow. <laughs> the controls interface. So the control system is pretty straightforward and intuitive. Power button switches the unit on and off. A secondary button controls the LED light and that laser pointer if you hold down that light button, the laser pointer will actually come on. The central menu dial, there's a button in the center with, a, with four buttons, up, down, left, and right. That allows for navigation, zooming, and quick access to settings. When press the menu button, brings up a quick access bar for the bottom of the screen. From here, you can toggle measurement markers, up to nine on the, on the 001, switch between imaging modes, select thermal color palettes, there's a lot, and dive into deeper settings. The color palettes, on a minimum on the 002 version, include white hot, black hot, lava, which is I think my favorite, iron, rainbow, rainbow HC, black red, and then the 001 version has even more. Uh, I don't really know why you need all that many, but it's got them. Advanced settings allow adjustments for emissivity, a really important setting if you're measuring temperatures of different metals and materials. You can adjust the ambient temperature and alarm thresholds for monitoring specific temperature levels. The camera supports still image capture and video recording to that SD card. And then those files can be reviewed in a playback mode directly on the display itself. So let's take a look closer at that super IR resolution feature. So by default, the camera produces a 256 by 192 thermal image. With the super IR resolution enabled, the image is enhanced and upscaled effectively to 512 by 384. The difference is immediately visible, it's something you can turn on and off uh, if you want to, I don't know why you would turn it off. The edges appear sharper, hot spots are more defined and overall readability improves significantly. While it isn't the same thing as having a higher native resolution sensor, it does bring the Thor that much closer to the image quality of some much, much, much more expensive competitors. Another powerful feature, which is pretty cool, is the fusion mode. So the fusion overlays the visible light image from the two megapixel camera, the normal camera, so we would probably think of it, with the thermal image, letting you see both detail and heat information at the same time. For example, you could view a breaker panel, and not only we see which circuit is heating up, but you could clearly identify the labels and switches around it. There's a picture-in-picture -picture mode, which also is available placing the thermal view inside a visible light frame. This really helps with orientation when scanning larger areas, especially when the thermal range is narrow, like outdoors or so forth, and, and it's kind of hard to figure out what exactly you're pointing at. So let's talk practical use cases. What are these cameras actually used for? So building inspection is one, and that's probably why you're listening to us here today. The Thor is excellent for spotting heat loss around doors, windows, identifying missing insulation, or tracing hot water pipes behind walls, radiant heat and stuff like that. Electrical work, electricians can quickly find overloaded circuits, loose connections, or failing transformers. There's the automotive diagnostics. Mechanics can spot overheated brake discs, uneven tire wear, which is kind of neat. I didn't even think about that, but if it's if it's running more right when it comes into the shop, you can see where which ones are, are getting more wear, or uh, hot exhaust components. HVAC servicing, um, no brainer there. Technicians can confirm whether heating and cooling systems are operating efficiently. And then there's the hobbies. The Thor can also be used for DIY projects, small electronics, or even exploring the outdoors at night. Though the standard's 30 centimeter minimal focus distance means it's ideal for, it's not ideal for up close circuit board work. That's where the macro version of the 001 with its eight centimeter focus range. But they're also fun. I had some fun with my kids playing around the house with uh, playing hide and seek and some detective work following hot footprints around the ground and we would find my dogs that were trying to run away. Something you're not doing with a several thousand dollar piece of company equipment, but something you can do with the Thor that's priced perfectly for it. So another cool feature is its PC integration. While connected to a PC, still images and videos can be analyzed and streamed in detail. So each image is collected is actually called radiometric, which meaning all the temperature data is embedded in the file. So you can move your cursor around now, instead of the camera, you can move your cursor and pull up all that exact temperature data at every single pixel. You can also change the color palette after capturing, measure different temperature differences. So it allows you to do a lot more um, 
then when you're just streaming around, you can just basically capture everything and go back later and analyze that stuff. That's more for sort of a laboratory type setting and so forth. There's the Wi-Fi streaming feature, which is another useful addition. By enabling a hotspot, you can connect a smartphone or a tablet to view a live feed. This is particularly useful um, in situations where the camera itself is in a difficult position. You maybe can't see the, the, the display, or if you've got a second person with you and they, you, want, you want them to see what's going on. The LED light and laser pointer are helpful extras, but don't expect like a massive lumen output from the light. You're not, that's not gonna be your primary light source. It's just kind of nice in a pitch. The laser, however, is, you know, can be pretty useful when you've got a group with you or you got somebody else and you just wanna pinpoint exactly, give them a reference point. So let's talk about pricing and value. The Thor Double R2, that's the standard version without the macro lens, as mentioned, 299. The Thor Double one with the macro, that's 599. It's about twice as much. First glance, that seems like a big jump, but that macro version is designed for technicians who need close-up accuracy. It's, and it works actually really, really well. For them, the added cost is well worth it. There's also some increase in accuracy and thermal sensitivity, but relatively minor. The 002 camera is likely the sweet spot for most. When compared to an established competitor or competitors, the Thor's value becomes even clearer. For example, we have been using the Hilti PTC camera on the job for, I think almost two years now. It's awesome. It's a great camera with very, very similar feature set. It's an excellent inspection tool that is ruggedized to perform on the job site and integrates with an established battery platform, the Hilti Neuron, they're 12 volts. In reviewing some side-by-side -side thermal images, there is a notable difference in image quality between the two. The Thermal Master does edge out the Hilti in presented image quality. I say it that way because the base thermal sensor resolution is the same and the underlying accuracy and data is probably nearly identical, but the presentation with that Super IR mode um, really does make the, the Thermal Master punch way above its pay grade. When the specs are shown side by side, the similarities are, are clear. Both cameras have that same resolution thermal sensor at 256 by 192. The difference being that, that upscale tech. The Thermal Master edges out the Hilti and display as well, having twice the resolution across the same size, three and a half inch display. Temperature ranges are very similar with Hilti having a higher end 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit versus 1,000 22, so 100 degrees more. The field of view is identical, the IP rating is identical, and the battery life is similar on the surface, but the Hilti is part of that battery platform, so you got quick swap options. But it's eight to 10 hours between either one. If you change it even infrequently, you should be good to go. The Thermal Master 001 option has that awesome macro lens, something that the Hilti does not, while the PTC benefits from Hilti's fantastic warranty and service network. And yes, that last row is the important bit. Hilti is priced competitively against other competitors like FLIR, but it's still well over $2,000. While the lower Thor is about 300 and the 001 is 600. That's 3.5 to seven times as much. So it's, it's really impressive what Thermal Master has done here with the, with the Thor. So to sum it up, the Thermal Master Thor 1 is a capable, affordable, and versatile thermal camera. It combines professional grade features like radiometric imaging, fusion mode, and PC analysis software with an accessible price point. It's not perfect. The software could be refined further. It could run on a Mac, for example. The manual and inspections or instructions need a bit more work. I found them a bit lacking, a little bit confusing to get started. But overall, this is one of the best value standalone thermal cameras available today for electricians, plumbers, HVAC technicians, inspectors, and even advanced hobbyists. The Thor is an outstanding option. If you'd like to learn more, check the links below. And if you found this review helpful, please consider supporting the channel. Hit that like button or consider subscribing. It helps us out a lot. Thanks for watching.